So I just filmed the intro to this and my camera was not filming. So that is great. But today we are going to be doing a tag video, which I haven't done in a while. And I've been meaning to do this tag for, it feels like forever because it's been like three weeks now maybe since this tag was created. And for me, that's a long time to kind of not do something that I want to do. But it's one of those things that it just ends up on my list of videos that I want to film and it keeps getting pushed down because there are so many other things that kind of takes priority that I want to film first. So today we're going to be doing the makeup collection tag and this was started by Georgia Harris. I don't know if I just said that, but I did say that in the intro that I apparently was not filming. So the tag is created by Georgia Harris, which I absolutely love. So if you don't already follow her, I will link her down in the description box and up in the corner. But this tag has 14 questions and it's basically talking about my makeup collection. And why wouldn't I want to talk about my makeup collection? So let's just get into it. So question number one is, how long have you been collecting makeup? I want to say for about two years now. Now I'm pretty new to makeup. I haven't been into makeup for that long and I haven't really been into like doing my makeup like in this kind of way for very long either. I used to be very much like a using makeup to cover up kind of person and I wouldn't do a lot of like the fun steps, you know, which I my channel is basically all about now. I would basically only do like foundation and powder and concealer and brows and mascara and that would be it and some eyeliner. So yeah, I want to say about two years now was when I first started like actually getting interested in makeup and trying to build my collection and get more stuff. So I want to say about two years now, that's when I first started like really getting interested in makeup and wanting to try things for the sake of trying things and not just buying because I needed it. So yeah, I guess for me, it hasn't been that long, but it feels like a long time. Question number two, what kind of collection do you have? Minimal, utilitarian, aesthetic, historical, etc. Um, my collection is all over the place. It doesn't really have a rhyme or reason at all, except for I buy the things that I like and the things that I like are basically all over the place. So I can't really say that I have any specific styles that would reflect my or describe my collection, if you will. I don't know, maybe colorful, but then again, not all of my things that I own are colorful. So I don't know, maybe it's a fun collection. Maybe I would call it fun. Is that a good way to explain it? I don't know. Question number three, are you a completionist? Absolutely not. I'm not the kind of person who will go out and buy a whole collection of something. And even if I like one product, I'm not going to buy all of them just because I like that one product. The only thing that I'm almost interested in completing my collection with is my Dubious Place palettes because I'm only missing, I think, two. But the two palettes that I'm missing are just like not the kind of palettes that I would ever use. So there's no reason for me to pick those up. As much as I want to have them and just say that I own all of the Dubious Place palettes, I know that it's just not the right thing to do. So I'm not going to be silly, even though I could pick them up for probably $20 for both of them during a sale. But I mean, it, it really just doesn't make any sense and I've never been the kind of person who wants to have a complete collection of anything anyway. So I don't know. Yeah, I'm just not that kind of person. Question number seven. Wait, are we already at question number seven? No, we are not. Question number four. How do you store slash organize your collection? Now, I took a video of this on my phone like a week ago because I was planning on filming this tag and it just never happened. So I would kind of pop that on the screen right now. So I have like a thing of drawers that I have most of my collection inside of. And then all of the stuff that I use on like a very regular basis, I will have on my desk, which as you can see, is a pretty big desk. So I have a lot of room for stuff. So like all my eyeliners are out, all my mascaras, brow products are out and so on. And then I have a basket of stuff with like foundations and powders and stuff that I'm either testing out or that I just want to use a lot. So those are like always there, but everything else is basically stacked in my drawers. And I also have a couple of the plastic containers that I have a little, you know, items in that don't really fit in the other drawers. That doesn't make sense to be in there. So that's basically how I store my collection now. And I feel like I'm pretty happy with the way I have my collection. My collection is not like big enough that I need to expand anytime soon, but I do have an empty Alex drawer actually that I have not even set up yet because the one, the thing that I'm using right now with the drawers in it, I got for Christmas and my husband set it up for me and he was like, there you go. So I never really had time to get my Alex drawers out and like start putting them together and organizing them because Ikea stuff sucks and I can't put anything together to save my life. So. That's where we're at right now. And I'm sure that Alex Drawer is going to come in handy, you know, in the future because I don't plan on not growing my collection. So it's nice to just have that as a backup for when that time comes. Question number five, what is your favorite thing about your collection? Um, Basically that I pretty much like everything that I own. Like I'm really happy with my collection. I feel like my collection reflects me and my style. And yeah, I don't know. 
There's really not a lot of things that I don't like about my collection if I want to put it that way. I do want to do like a mini declutter though because I definitely have some stuff that's sort of collecting dust in my drawers that I just don't reach for that often that I feel like I could give away to some of my friends that might use it more. But other than that, I'm really happy with both the size of my collection and the stuff that I have in my collection. I feel like I have enough things that I can play with and not get bored. But at the same time, I don't have enough things that I feel overwhelmed and I don't want to buy more makeup. So yeah, I just, I don't know. I like my collection a lot. Question number six, which I guess I already kind of answered, but this is what is your least favorite thing about slash something to improve your collection? I don't really know if I have anything that I would necessarily change right now. Like I said, I'm pretty happy with my collection. I could probably do like a brush declutter as well as a regular declutter, but other than that, like at this very moment, I'm pretty happy with where I am at. I could also probably see the only thing that I really want to improve on is like decluttering some stuff that I know I don't use. So that's definitely going to be coming up anyway. I am planning to do a declutter series. So I mean, that'll be coming up. And then after that, I'm pretty sure I'll be happy with most things in my collection, you know? Question number seven. Did I say the last question was number seven and this is number six? I'm so confused right now. But question number seven is, what is the biggest category of your collection? By far lip products. I have so many more lip products than I thought I did. Actually, I like, it might actually be brushes because I have a lot of makeup brushes, like especially eyeshadow brushes. Like if you wanna just take a look at like the cups that I have here. And then I also have like one with my face brushes and stuff. So I have a lot of brushes, but probably lip products because apparently I have a lip product problem. I didn't think I did, but lately I've made two videos about just swatching my unused and new lipsticks. So clearly I have a problem. So I'm sure that my eyeshadow palette collection is like up there too, but I feel like I'm probably around like 90 eyeshadow palettes. If I had to guess, I think when I did my eyeshadow palette collection in December, I had 75 or so. And I don't think I've added that many. I've added more single shadows this year than eyeshadow palettes. So I'm probably not even actually up to 80. So if my eyeshadow palettes are like at 80, I would say my lip products, if you count like glosses and bullets and liquid lipsticks and all of them, they're probably at like 200. I don't know. I have a lot. I have a problem. Question number eight, what is the smallest category in your collection? Um, this one used to be easy for me because it was definitely concealers because I used to only have one, but now I probably have like three or four that I really like because I've kind of gotten more into like trying out new face products lately. And not to say that I have many, but I probably have like four in my rotation now, maybe three or four. So it might still be concealers. I have a lot of foundations. I like foundations a lot and that's something that I like trying way more than I like trying concealers. Powders, I probably have about the same as I have concealers. So I don't even think I can say that. Eyeshadow primers probably have around the same amount actually. So I don't know, like this is tough. Let me take a look. Oh, I know, face primers for sure. I don't have a lot of face primers and the only face primers that I really have are samples unless it's my Farsali ones. So I would say face primers is probably the one part of my collection that I don't have a lot of. I think I even have more setting sprays even if I don't really use setting sprays. So yeah, I even have a lot of brow products. I have a lot of, well, I don't have a lot, but I have more lip liners. I have about the same amount of lip liners as I do mascaras because I have all of my colored ColourPop mascaras. So that's like seven and then I have like three or four regular ones. So I don't know. I don't really feel like any part of my collection is necessarily like very small, but it's like on the smaller side, you know? So I have a lot of categories that are like competing for this spot and I don't really know exactly which one is the smallest. Question number nine. This is one that you guys are going to already know. Do you have a holy grail in your collection? Now, Georgia answered this in a different way that I'm going to answer this. And she was kind of looking at it in the sense of, do you have an item in, in your collection that you would really hate, like if you lost, that you wouldn't be able to repurchase or something like that, that's like very special to you? But I don't have that. So I'm going to answer it in the way of like, is there a holy grail product in your collection that you wouldn't live without? and it's going to be my Bad Girl Bang, and I always use this, I love this, I wouldn't want any other mascara. If I could choose one, only one mascara for the rest of my life, I would choose this, and I cannot say that for any other category in my makeup collection. I don't really have a lot of holy grails even within certain categories that I really, really love. So yeah, I mean, this wasn't even hard for me because this is just like the best thing that I've 
bought in the past year, you know? I haven't used it for that long, I wanna say. I actually probably bought this for the first time a year ago, and I've only been without it for like a very short period of time when I was like, I don't wanna spend as much money on mascara because that is stupid. And then I realized that I do want to spend as much money on a mascara because this is not stupid. So, I mean, I do end up picking this up on sale and I do stock up when they do have sales. So I never pay full price for this, but I still would, you know, if I had to. So I just, I love that thing so much. Question number 10. Do you ever wish your collection was bigger slash smaller or is it complete? See, I look at it in this way, like, for me, my makeup collection is going to be ever-evolving because I like to try out new stuff all the time and I'm not really looking to have a complete collection because, I mean, I'm on YouTube and I'm not going to lie, I've said this before, but I am trying to grow my YouTube channel and so my collection is going to obviously grow with that until I declutter, obviously, but it's just one of those things that, like, I would like to become a review channel at some point you know, that's gonna be very expensive, so hopefully in the future people will actually, like, maybe send me some stuff to try out, but <laughs> right now, like, obviously my collection is growing because I'm buying a lot of stuff for review purposes, even though it is things that I really enjoy and I want, but I don't see myself ever, like, being content with what I have because that is not my goal with my collection, if that makes sense. I know a lot of people who are maybe minimalists are really looking to have a complete collection and really just only have the products that they really like and love. But for me, I see things going in and out of my collection all the time and that's kind of how I want it to be right now. So that's just kind of how I'm looking at it. Now, as for, like, the size of my collection, I very happy with where I'm at with my collection. I never feel like my collection is too small. I also don't feel like my collection is too big and that I'm overwhelmed by all the stuff that I have. Like, I feel like I have a pretty good overview of my collection and I know what it's in my collection. I don't find myself being like, oh, I forgot I had that or, oh, I can't believe I haven't used that. Like, for the most part, I'm pretty aware of the things that I do have in my collection and I'm happy that it is that way because I can imagine if my collection keeps growing and growing that it is going to get a bit overwhelming. But I feel like I just need to make sure that I am always on top of things and, like, you know, organizing stuff in a way that I can see everything that I have and that I haven't used that I have used and then make sure that I'm, like, putting stuff into place all the time, which is not something I'm very good at because I'm not a very organized person and I don't know if any of what I just said makes sense, but in my head it makes sense, so I hope it made sense to you as well. Question number 11. How often do you declutter makeup in your collection? Um, like I said, I haven't been collecting makeup for that long, so I haven't really done a lot of declutters, but I'm the kind of person who kind of declutters as I go, especially if it's like with products that I don't think are very exciting to watch a declutter for. Like if I have an eyebrow pen that I just don't end up liking it, I'll, you know, give it away to someone or throw it away in the trash if it's just absolute garbage. But for other parts of my collection, like my eyeshadow palettes and my lipsticks and my bronzers, my highlighters and my blushes, like I tend to keep things in there so that I can do a declutter video. But since I haven't been on YouTube for more than nine months now, almost 10, I think, I just haven't really been on YouTube for long enough that I've really had to do a declutter yet, which is why I really am planning to do a declutter very soon because I feel like it's needed and I feel like I just have to get around to filming it and doing it. So it should be coming up in not too long. I'm hoping to start filming it maybe next week, probably while I'm doing my 10 looks with the new Jeffree Star palette. I don't know when this tag is going up. Maybe this is going up after I've already done my first impression with it. I don't know, but that declutter is probably going to be coming up soon and I feel like it's just very needed. And I know I've said that like four times already, but that's basically the answer to how often do you declutter. I would say probably about once a year because I did declutter my collection like right before I started my channel. So I've kind of just accumulated waiting for the right time to do a declutter video. So there you go. <laughs> Question number 12. Do you ever get envious seeing other people's makeup collections? See, the thing with me, I'm going to answer this question and the next question in the same question because the next question is who on YouTube has the best makeup collection video? Now, I don't really ever watch makeup collection videos because I don't know, I just, I don't care for them that much. Like if I'm going to watch some kind of a collection video, it's going to be a declutter and collection video because I like to see the products that people don't like more than I like to see the products that people do like. And if I want to see products that people like, I would rather watch like a favorites video or like a holy grail of kind of video. I don't really care that much to just like look at people's collections. And I definitely think I'm in the minority there, but it just doesn't really interest me that much because I have a very different style than most people. And the things that I like aren't usually what other people like. So there might be like a group of like 
10 to 20 people that I would watch a makeup collection video from and none of them have really done that except for like one or two so I guess that's going to answer my question I just I don't really watch collection videos and the last question is what's some advice you'd give to a future makeup collector I don't know I would say make sure that you can afford what you're buying obviously going into debt for makeup or something like that is just it's stupid like don't do that but also have fun with it you know try out new things you might end up finding things that you didn't think you liked but you end up loving I would also say that make sure that you watch some reviews and you find people that are similar to yourself that you can maybe trust and take advice from them on what to bring into your collection also I guess just like think through your purchases before you buy them like be kind of picky about what you buy I would say really think about what your own style and aesthetic is and just because something is like nice and sparkly don't buy it just because it has nice packaging or something like that if the product itself isn't something that you would normally reach for like just look at the things you buy imagine what you would do with that product and how you would use it and how often you would use it and then make a decision on whether or not you want to buy it make sure that the things that you buy are something that you're going to really love and don't just like buy it to buy it you know unless of course it's to get free shipping then get whatever the hell you want because that's what I always do. So I think that is going to some of the answers to this tag video. And if you have done this tag, please let me know so I can watch it because I love watching these kind of tag videos. I find them so interesting. So thank you to Georgia for creating such an amazing tag. I think this was so much fun. And thank you so much to you guys for watching as always. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.